Cody Carpentier from rosterwatch.com, courtesy of Sirius XM. I'm here at Carolina Panthers camp today, and as far as fantasy implications, there was a few. Terrace Marshall did not take uh, any snaps with the first team, but the first team of wide receivers that did to come onto the field was DJ Chark out left, Jonathan Mingo out right, and Adam Thielen in the slot with a lot of Hayden Hurst playing in the slot and out wide. And the reason I do not say one of them was the X or the Y or the Z, in the press conference, Frank Reich mentioned that none of these guys are the quote-unquote X or the alpha in this offense. He said every single play we have a different player as the number one option in the offense, and that is designed. A lot of people around here discuss Hayden Hurst as being that number one guy in this offense, which is very interesting because he's the tight end, he's the new guy. But also while discussing the tight end room and Tommy Tremble and Ian Thomas, Frank Reich didn't even mention Hayden Hurst's name. In quote, he said, of course we got our guy. He didn't even have to mention Hayden Hurst's name. Everybody just knew who he was talking about. Hurst was often targeted today on short dump offs by Bryce Young. Bryce Young kept the ball around the line of scrimmage a lot today. Miles Sanders and Chuba Hubbard splitting the load, splitting the load. Every single team exercise was a different starter at running back. The first phase, it was Sanders. The second phase, it was Chuba. The third phase, it was Sanders. The fourth phase, it was Chuba. And back to Sanders. They went back and forth all day with the first team as far as the running back goes. Miles Sanders, Chuba Hubbard. Is Miles Sanders a value? I think so. But I think Chuba Hubbard is not getting as much recognition as he should be. Here at Carolina Panthers training camp, Cody Carpentier from rosterwatch.com.